Welcome back to our channel. Let's explore on how to set up SPF and DKIM records in MailChimp. So let's begin. Now, the first thing we need to do, if you haven't done so, click on the sign up button on the upper right corner. But if you have already logged in, you can use your credentials. And once you have done that, in the upper right corner of your interface, click on your profile icon. Click on that and click on account and billing. So it depends on the version that you're using. But right now, just click on domains. And from here, basically, now before we continue setting up SPF or the sender policy framework and DKIM, which is also called domain keys identified mail records, in MailChimp is very essential for ensuring the uh, authentication and deliverability of your email campaigns. Now, in terms of the email authentication, it can give you enhanced delivery and avoidance of spoofing and phishing. And of course, it improves email trustworthiness. And the best part is it is compliant with one of the best practices. And of course, it gives you the protection of your brand reputation. Now, moving forward. Now, from here, all you're going to do is add and verify domain, right? And put the email address that is associated with your domain or website, okay? And of course, all you're going to do is send verification email. And once you have done that, what will happen is you will receive an on-screen instructions and follow that, okay? Now, if for any chance, say, for example, you already own a domain from another domain provider, you can connect it to give it your landing pages and a website a more professional look. Now, all you're going to do is connect a domain. But the thing is, you need to connect your domain plus more and you need to upgrade to a pro subscription, right? Now, you need to go over to your providers, to your domain provider and set up the DNS settings okay say for example you're using our cloud fair and then here is where you can the dns and where you can edit it all right now in case you're lost during the whole navigation process i suggest you go here at the mailchimp help center wherein you can copy and paste authentication information about email domain authentication right and the uh, the thing is all you're gonna do is say for example this is your domain just click on start authentication and follow these steps to authenticate your domain. And from here, this is where you can edit the C name and the C name records. Okay. And after doing this whole, follow the instructions for creating the new DMARC and DKIM respectively. And of course, you need to confirm authentication. And again, you can edit DNS records with common domain providers such as Amazon Web Services. Here are the... Uh, domain providers so if you're using godaddy that's a little bit easier because you can just add a cnm record just straight in here now if you're using a name chief you can click on this one as you can see this is how you set up spf and dkim records if you are using a name chief provider okay thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one